So in recognition of passing 100 subscribers, a lot of my uh, students said I need to do a gameplay and suggested a very mathematical game, Geometry Dash. Now, I don't believe them at all. I'm not expecting a lot of mathematics in this, but, uh, but we'll give it a go. Um, now, I have seen some people play this before, and I think this is like uh, a game that I had on my phone a while ago called The Impossible Game. So it is almost identical. And so I actually feel I'm quite good at it. But, uh, I, I say just before I die, uh, because it is basically the exact same game. And I remember that on these towery things, you just hold down and you sort of climb up them. And then you've just got to memorize the route, as I recall, because you've got to remember when to jump and when not to jump. And yeah, so I should have jumped there. Never mind, attempt three. So, so maths, then we see any maths. Well, I'm a square. Oh, see, if I try and talk about it whilst I'm playing, bad things happen. So I'm a square. And what's actually quite nice, it's like a square within a square within a square. And everyone likes a regular quadrilateral, don't they? And we've got quite a lot of triangles going on. Slightly distressing that they're not equilateral triangles, but I guess... They wanted them to be the same height as the square, so they've had to go isosceles. But never mind. Right, now I'm not rambling on so much. I'm vaguely making progress. What I don't know is how long this level is. Um, whether I'm going to reach it. Oh, what's... Oh! Okay, that's different. This reminds me of a game I played many years ago on the internet. Uh, one of these like little flash games and you were a helicopter and you had to pilot through uh, just endless tunnels and oh drat oh I start all the way from the beginning rubbish uh, yeah so so you had to fly through these caverns and I got a little bit obsessed with that so hopefully I won't be too bad at that either so that's the thing games now they you know, very rarely is there a genuinely unique idea that comes up. Everything is basically just ripped off from everything else. So there's always something that is similar that you've practiced before. I'm guessing that this level is the tamest. So although I'm struggling with it a little bit, I'm pretty confident it's just going to get worse rather than better. Oh, I did. I managed to get that the other time. I wonder how I do that. Sorry, just a new bit. Gotta concentrate. Okay. Just got to, oh, there's another coin there. How do I get that one? Ah, oh, seventy-eight percent. Okay, that's not bad. So we must be pretty close to the end. Not bad at all. I say that's not bad, but it's the easy level, isn't it? And the first level is always supposed to be lure you in by making it seem really easy and then get you hooked so they get all the advertising. Although actually I haven't seen many or maybe even any adverts, so there must be some adverts at some point. Otherwise they wouldn't be making their money. Maybe they're hoping I'm just going to like spend lots of money on upgrades and things, which I'm definitely not going to do. Here we go. So this is all very tame at the moment. Now, aha, that's how I did it the first time. There we go. Now, how do, I can't remember where the second coin is. It's a bit further on, but I'm not sure how you get that one. It's the tricky bit. Got to concentrate. Okay, it was somewhere around here. Oh, yes. I need to jump up there. I'm not sure what the coins do, though. I, I feel compelled to collect them because they're there. But I'm not entirely sure why I should want them. Just because I can have them. That's why. Uh, maybe they give me extra lives or power-ups or something in the future. 
So what is quite good about these games is you keep practicing the early bit and you get better and better and better. And I suppose actually another link to maths, that's kind of what you need to do with your maths. Like, you know, if you're doing algebra, you just keep having to, you should just keep practicing it and then it fails and then you just practice it again until you get past that little sticking point and then you get onto the next harder bit of algebra and you just keep got to you got to keep going you can't damn it you can't um let yourself you can't let yourself sorry i'm just trying to not die as well as talk um you can't get overwhelmed by it you know if you if you fail you do it again and you do it again and okay i'm 10 attempts in here it's probably going to get to about 100 before i actually finish the level but if I need to do 100 attempts, I'm going to do 100 attempts. We're going to get to the end of the level. Might make for a very boring video for you to watch. But hey, you wanted me to do this, so you can't complain if it's rubbish. You could laugh at my inability to play Geometry Dash, of course. But I hope that you wouldn't be that cruel. Right, so coin one. And then we have to wait till it goes red for the second coin. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, it might not get the coin. If it means finishing the level, it might be better just to finish the level. We'll see. We'll see how we feel. Oh, okay. We did it. We did it. All is well. Whoa. Oh, another flying bit. Oh, it's trickier, though. Oh, it's still pretty, pretty all right, though. It's not as if it's like Flappy Bird difficulty, so this is okay. Is that it? We've just finished the first level. Okay, well, let's not get too excited. Oh, and here are the adverts. Okay, so they are going to... Ah, two... Oh, there was another coin. Where Where was that? Well, we're not that bothered about that. Oh, another advert. Oh, I shouldn't have clicked on that, should I? There we go. Can we get rid of that? There we go. So, let's play another level. Didn't see a third coin on that one. We have to be more careful. Wow, what does that do? Is that just a big jumpy thing? Yes. Ah, and it does it automatically. I don't need to press. That's good. Oh, but I do need to jump when there isn't one. Click, click. Okay, big jump. And up the stairs. Oh, that's the same place. What is wrong with me? Maybe I was lulled into that false sense of security from level one now. Oh, it must be. Oh, I think I'm clicking the wrong place on the screen. I think I'm pressing a bit low. That might be why. Oh, I'm just incompetent. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Whoa! Ah, drat. See, I saw that was going to be a problem just uh, a bit too late to deal with it properly. Six attempts already. Oh dear, this level is already a lot harder than the first one. Here we go. Right, so we've got to jump all of these. There we go. Whoa. You've got to get the right combination of holding it down, letting it off. Whoa, okay. tell him concentrate how are you supposed to get that coin that's ridiculous I, I even jumped up not intentionally but it must be some uh, secret way to go oh another coin I can see how to get that one I just didn't know to do it and that's two coins so there's gonna be a third one somewhere oh no 67% that's not too bad if we can get back there <clears throat> Here we go. See, it's dead easy now. Once you know it, once you've done it, you just have to remember, vaguely remember what's coming up and how to deal with it. And then it's it's not too bad. I must say, my year eights did say I had to play the last level, but um, not surprisingly, I imagine that's ridiculously difficult. So we're gonna we're gonna stick with the early ones for now until yeah. You see, how am I supposed to get that? Shouldn't concentrate on the coins, just concentrate on staying alive. Here we 
go. So yeah, me concentrating doesn't make for a good video though if I stop talking. I can see why it's quite compelling. I, I think probably the Geometry Dash fad has moved on, certainly at my school, but um, I can see why you were engrossed with it. It is, oh, there's a, oh, I just died then because I noticed there's a, a shimmery jump thing down in the, um, in the, in the bottom bit. That was probably how you get the coin, but, right, come on, concentrate now. Uh, I think I'm probably going to leave that coin, because it looks a bit tricky. We'll try and get the one when we're the helicopter thing, the flying thing. Yeah, I can see why um, my kids at school were so compelled, because it's just addictive. You just, you want to finish the level, you know, you think, oh, well, I'll just have one more go, and... I can imagine that turns into a 20 more goes. And you think, this time, this time we'll, we'll get it. Yeah, I definitely saw that jumpy thing that time. That'll be how you do it, but I'm not confident enough to give that a go. Now, it was the first... Yes, it was. Yes! That wasn't too bad. Just have to know it's there. And back to jumping... Here we go. I can't remember if we've been this... Whoa, definitely not this far. That was particularly good timing, I think. Oh, another one. How am I supposed to get that one? I think that's all three now as well, so... Jump. Whoa, jump, whoa, jump. Oh! He even said so close. Oh, another advert. Yes, and can I not get rid of this? Aha, there we go, 97%. Oh, that is cruel. Okay, we'll, we'll get it this time. We will get it this time. Okay, just gotta concentrate. So jump these ones, get that one. No, oh, held on too long. On, off, on. Oh dear, 14 attempts. This is probably embarrassing. Okay. This the, hold on for this bit, there we go. So you see, I'm taking it seriously now because um, commentary has died away. So we wanna get it out. I mean, 97%, I mean, oh, drat. That's just cruel, that is absolutely cruel. I wonder how many levels there are as well, because um, if this is like the first of five levels, then that's probably not too bad. If it's the first of 30 or 40 levels, then it's going to be absolutely horrendous when we get to the last one. Assuming we get to the last one. I mean, I'm not going to do... Oh, that was stupid. I think I'm going to stop after this level for this video, and uh, you can let me know in the comments if you, if you want to see more Geometry Dash, and we will resume the normal standards of uh, GCSE topics um, rather than just playing games the whole time. But if you do want to see more Geometry Dash or other games, like maybe I will show you some proper games from when I were a lad, like old uh, DOS games. They were, they were good platformers, and it's a real shame that you can't get them uh, on the iPhone. There's quite a few games from from my past, my gaming youth, that they have ported to the iPhone, and um, that's lots of fun to sort of relive those. But um, other ones you can get play online through emulators and things. And there's some absolutely cracking games which really haven't haven't aged. Other than you know, yes, okay, they're pixelated and they're you know the graphics look old, but the actual gameplay itself is still highly enjoyable. Now, this is the bit where you have to do those time jumps. I was amazed I managed to just get them the first time. I think it's just getting the rhythm. If you oh no drat. If you get the if you get the rhythm right, then uh it all it's all evenly spaced, which I think is really helpful. 
but uh, it means if you miss a miss a beat, then you go crashing into those triangles, or whatever the hazard is. Oh, that was a slide, not a jump. I missed what attempt we were on as well. Probably. So. Oh well, let's find out. Twenty one now. Oh dear. We might actually get to a hundred on this one, but we were at ninety seven percent. So frustrating. I didn't even know we were that close either. If I'd have known, then maybe I would have been more focused. Oh well. This is going reasonably well. That's the thing, you have to get so far through the level, not only have to, yes, you're getting better at all this bit, but you have to survive all of this in order to get to the bit that you're practicing, so you don't get much chance to practice the tricky bit, which is a little bit unfair. But, oh, you see, I shouldn't have gone to get that. Oh, I keep clicking by accident. Um, oh, I've now broken it. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, back. Um, no, I don't want tap tiles. There we go. Oh, 54% uh, not so good. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, I mean, it's it's quite nice, actually, because um, original games, when, you know, consoles first came out and things like um, Mega Drive, you um, you couldn't save the game. And so if you died, or if you came back to it the next day, you had to start from scratch. And they didn't give you, like, loads of le lives and everything. And, you know, you just had, like, three lives, and once they were gone, that was it. You started again. And um, the problem was that you would spend ages on the early levels, and if you weren't very good at gaming, like me, then, oh, my days, I was convinced I was going to die then, um, then you basically only ever played the early levels because you would, you know, expend the few lives that you had on silly mistakes, and you'd never last past... Um, Sorry, just concentrating here. You'd never last past those early levels to get to the later tricky ones. But, you know, it meant that you had to be dedicated and committed, and it meant that games lasted a long time. Uh, they lasted a long time because, you know, you had to just put in so many hours to perfect them like this. You had to just start from the beginning. Whereas modern days, the sort of the saving function and um, they're much more generous with lives because they they want you to get to the end and they're more story based i suppose so you know you want to, people to get to the end and then buy the new game and spend more money on it um so you know they've they've got you both ways just conning you out of more and more of your cash basically right we're gonna get it this time might need to stop commentating for a little bit uh, when we get to the tricky bit, but we're all right for now, whilst we're in the little rocket. And here we go. Whoop, whoop, So what I can't remember is where we died last time. That's, oh, it was probably there. You have to not press it then. You have to let go. It's the problem if you hold down to do lots of consecutive jumps. Ah, oh, my finger was in the wrong place there. Oh, I just wasn't paying attention. 26 attempts. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, it's just so easy to just hold it down. And you've got to remember to off, on, off, on at the right times for these slides and jumps. But if they made it too easy, then it wouldn't be enjoyable. We do these things because they are hard. I think uh, JFK said that, didn't he, about going to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Now, I'm not sure I can quite compare playing Geometry Dash to, you know, uh, a multi-million pound national commitment to interstellar, no not interstellar, inter interplanetary travel, 
well, the moon, not planet. You know what I mean? You know, traveling in space, tapping a screen to move a little square, uh, up and down. Not really comparable. But in our own little worlds, um, then I don't want to load the game demo. Probably I wouldn't have to suffer this if I wasn't so... Ah, 69, yes. Um, if I hadn't been cheap and got the full version, maybe they wouldn't throw adverts my way. But there we are. Right. I keep saying we're going to do it this time, but we are going to do it this time. Mainly because I've got nothing else to say. <laughs> so the commentary is just getting random and awful. Because I've run out of things to say. And I can't keep talking about the level because I've played it 27 times. And there's nothing less to say about it. So yeah, the, the maths about it, actually, I could mention that. Only to say it was pants. I mean, there is not even that much geometry like if you even if you were just going to have a passive amount of geometry in this all we've got is squares and triangles that's it lit oh well maybe a few circles um in the background but um so that's pants and i'm not having to do any maths at all so i completely argh, completely disagree with my year eights who said oh yeah yeah it's really mathematical no, that was just a lie in order to get me to play it. But it is enjoyable, and it is highly addictive. So, in that respect, I'm very glad that they manipulated me into giving it a go. Oh, I think I'm just getting worse. What I might have to do is, when I'm still here in, in three hours' time, you... I'm sure don't want to watch a three hour video of me dying in various different places on this level. So what we'll do is um, we'll cut out all the boring ones in the middle and you know, you'll see attempt number 512 where he finally gets to, well, I'll probably get to 98% and then die just, you know, just to really hack me off. Be really interested to know Actually, if I'm doing well or if I'm doing badly, like, I imagine on this level I'm doing really badly. Um, but, like, what is the average number of temps, you know? Is it most people get it in four or five? Or is 20 or 30 actually quite reasonable? I, ooh, I thought I was going to die then. I'd be interested to know. Oh, 32. Now... We can do this because 32 is a great number to get to get it done on. It's a power of 2, which is always fun. 2 to the power of 5, so that would be a good number to do it on. And everyone likes a multiple of 8 as well. So, you know, this is the one. Or not. <laughs> right. this time. The problem is, I suppose, the longer I play it in quick succession, the more sort of blasé I get about the beginning bit, and I'm not concentrating as much. So I'm actually dying a lot more on these early bits, whereas the first time you're playing it and you don't know what's coming, you're concentrating so much that you're sort of, you know, reacting um, much better. And now it's like, oh yeah, oh well, never mind, 35. Well, maybe we should, yeah, I mean, this one will die because, you know, I'm just incompetent. And then we'll get it on 36 because it'll be nice to, to get it on an attempt that's a square number. That would be awesome. But we will have to see. sound hasn't gone, it's just me concentrating because I really don't want to die again. It would be so nice to get this now. Okay. So gently through here. At least we got one coin. I mean, you know, out of three, one is, one is poor, but the 
The other two look, did look very difficult to get. Maybe, whoa, when I'm a bit better, when I've done a few more levels, and I've got this whole game down, maybe I can come back and have a go at getting these coins. Or whatever they're called, I'm just assuming they're coins. Oh, is that it? Oh, excellent. All is well, level complete. Just the one star, but you know what? Coin star thing. I can deal with that, I can deal with that. Well, it has been fun, not the advert so much, but it has been fun playing the game. Again, I've just ruined it. I don't know why I click on it thinking, oh, that'll get rid of it. Of course it doesn't, they want me to click on it to buy the, the thing. Go away, I've just, I've just closed you. No, I did not press that. So, that was lots of fun. Thank you for uh, for suggesting I do that. Let's see how many level. Oh, we can see on the bottom the dots there. Uh, so, yeah. There's quite a few quite a few levels to go. So, you can let me know if you found this really boring and you don't want to see any more videos or if you found it vaguely interesting and I should give it a go. I'm not looking forward to uh, some of these levels with an angry face. I'm, I think they're probably going to be pretty horrendous, but that will have to be for another day. Ta-ra for now.